Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about all the new features, changes, updates, and more that has come to Grand Theft Auto Online and the latest DLC, which of course is Further Adventures in Finance and Felony, and the latest title update 1.34. That's right, so there were a ton of updates and there were a ton of patch notes that came with this DLC. There's so much so that it's gonna be kind of tough for me to go over everything, so I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Today, I am gonna be going over all of the main details and all of the new main features that have been added within this update. So let's briefly start with some of the new content. There's obviously the new office properties that have been added into Grand Theft Auto Online, where players can buy an office via the Dynasty 8 real estate app or directly through the Dynasty 8 executive website. Now, upon purchasing an office, players will be given a CEO title and given access to executive privileges. They'll also get the SecuroServe special cargo network, and there's basically just a bunch of other things you can do with it. Obviously, offices are provided with an executive assistant, can be customized, which I think is pretty cool. There's also a gun locker you can get, accommodations such as a living quarters, a safe, and a whole lot more. Now, once you got your high-rise office, you can also buy warehouse properties, which have been added into Grand Theft Auto Online. Those will help you manage your special cargo, and they can be bought in three capacities, small, medium, and large, and players can own up to five. So I think the small warehouses allow you to hold 16 cargo, the medium is 42 or 44, and I know the large is for 100%, 111. So what's also pretty neat is becoming a CEO will allow you to have access to some exclusive benefits Benefits. So some of the benefits are the ability to become a CEO without any bank balance restrictions, time limits, or cooldowns. That's something we talked about a little bit earlier and in the week leading up to this. Would there be any of those limits? And it doesn't look like there is. There's obviously new outfits and exclusive outfits for the CEO that they can use to dress their organization with, access to CEO vehicles upon purchasing an office and various size warehouses, obviously. Now there's three new VIP works that have been added. These are Headhunter, which is where your organization tries to take down multiple targets across the map. Air Freight, which is where your organization must collect a cargo bob and use it to extract to a drop-off point. And then Haulage, where your organization must collect a large trailer and deliver it to the drop-off point. There's also two new VIP challenges that have been added, Cashing Out, which is where all players in the organization compete to hack the most ATMs within a time limit, Salvage, which is where all players in an organization armed with rebreathers compete to collect the most checkpoints in a set underwater area. And there's also, believe it or not, a new adversary mode that's been added into Grand Theft Auto Online, which is Trading Places. So it's described as class warfare as life's winners and losers fight for survival. Losers become winners by taking out a winner, choose how you play, a podium finish, or pass the parcel. So I won't be going over the vehicles individually because I have videos planned for that, but there are eight new cars available on the Legendary Motorsports, Southern San Andreas, Warstock, and other websites, including two new aircrafts and one existing aircraft, which has been modified, which is the Cargo Bob, as well as one new boat, which is, of course, the Tugboat. Now, there are also some new upgrades in ammunition that you can get for eight existing weapons, and it's drum magazines. So the drum magazine is available for the carbine rifle, the assault rifle, compact rifle, special carbine, combat PDW, machine pistol, SMG, and of course, the heavy shotgun. Now, following up with that, there's also 250 new clothing items, some previously exclusive to VIP gameplay only, which are now available in clothing stores for both male and female. I think that is awesome of Rockstar to finally add, I guess, the VIP outfits and the bodyguard clothing in the game. They're so cool and it's just so awesome that they have decided to include it in this update. Now let's talk about some new features and updates that have been added into the game. So the next few changes I'm gonna be talking about have been made to existing VIP gameplay. So the maximum number of VIP slash CEO per session has now been increased from six to 10. All VIPs and CEOs will have the option to invite rivals to their organization. So this allows players to send organization invites to existing CEOs, VIPs, associates, and bodyguards, which is pretty neat. Organization invites now include detail information, including current wage bonus percentage, 
office ownership, et cetera, about the VIP or CEO that is attempting to invite you. The ghost organization ability has been increased from two minutes to three minutes, and now the cost has been increased from 7,000 to 12,000, and the Nagasaki Dinky is now available from the VIP menus vehicle for VIPs and CEOs. There was one change made to the bodyguards gameplay where they can now call in vehicles themselves. So both associates and bodyguards will now have the ability to call vehicles in for themselves, which I think is pretty neat. There's also been the ability to zoom in in the ammunition store in GTA Online and Story Mode. So now players can get an overall better view of the detail on the weapon. Green juice in apartments and offices will now fully restore players' health when drunk in Grand Theft Auto Online. What's really interesting is that two players can now get into beds in Grand Theft Auto Online. I thought that was pretty weird and pretty interesting, but nonetheless, still pretty cool. And multiple vehicle websites have gotten redesigns in Grand Theft Auto Online and Story Mode. So I know that for certain, it is the Legendary Motorsport and the Southern San Andreas Super Autos have both gotten major fixes and major upgrades in terms of visually, they just look so much better. Now I should also mention that there were a ton of general and miscellaneous fixes and features that were added into the game. So many so that it would take me just the longest time ever to go over all of them. There are just so many little things that Rockstar fixed with this update. Uh, it's absolutely nuts. Some of the ones that I noticed that were pretty significant is the number one on the list. It says fixes have been implemented to improve game stability and network performance in Grand Theft Auto Online. We all know how bad the servers are in GTA Online. So it's nice to know that with each patch and with each update, Rockstar is looking to improve and is looking to fix stuff like this. So that's pretty nice. Also, I talked about it a few days ago that people were having issues opening up their interaction menu and inventory in Heist, which is a huge issue if you were going for like the, let's say, criminal mastermind challenge or just wanted to eat a snack or put some body armor on during a heist mission. So that was actually good that they fixed up issues like that. They fixed a bunch of issues with the existing VIP system. They fixed a bunch of issues with heist, a lot of things that had to do with vehicle purchasing, vehicle buying, issues with the vehicles themselves. There is so many of them that they just touched on. So as always, I'll leave links to everything in the description because there just is so much, but Rockstar really did patch a bunch of great issues in this update and have added a ton of new content as well. So you'll definitely wanna check it out, and who knows, maybe you'll find something that I didn't see, and maybe you'll identify a really cool bug or a really cool glitch or a really cool issue, the Rockstar patch that have been bugging you for a while now. I think one of them that I noticed was the airport gates, Rockstar actually fixed those. They made them not so finicky and not so tricky, which is pretty great. I know that they also fixed the creator's description limit. It's back at 500 characters, which was bugging a lot of people. I know that. So a lot of great features and a lot of great fixes. I'm really proud of Rockstar of what they've done so far. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.